Hi guys, today I wanted to make a Google Apps UI comparison between Android and iOS because one of my viewers after my Apple iPad Air 2 review suggested I should show them both off so a few people can see how big the difference are between each other's OS system and the UI of the Google Apps. So let's do this. Let's start off with the first app, which would be Google Chrome. As you can see, they pretty much look the same. There's not really a big difference, just a few UI adjustments on Android and iOS. Here it is on Android. If you check the bookmarks, right, right, real quick. It looks, you have this list view. And on the iOS side, you have this more kind of thumbnail view. But otherwise, they behave pretty much the same. Both slide in both slide out, you can change the tabs. So the slightest difference here was definitely be in Chrome and that's pretty much what we see here. There is no real big difference here on both terms if you wanna choose one or the other OS. Let's head over to Google Plus now. On iOS, the menu is reachable with this here. Here are the settings, you see what you have. On Android though, it is this pop down menu where you see everything else. And if you want to go into the settings, you can do this with this here. It looks a bit different as well. You have, you, it seems to have more options here, but that's, I guess, more of an iOS style. Where there's a big difference here, let's quickly go back. If we slide down to the side for the, icon, for the notifications, this slides completely out. As you can see here, this just makes an overlay. Of course, it's a personal preference which you prefer. But one thing I definitely prefer on Android is you see this button, new posts, touch to see them. You, you touch it and you go to the top of the timeline. You don't have this button on Android. What you have to do is go to the top, but then you still have to refresh, which you for some reason still have to do on Android because the last few versions have this. But otherwise, what you also can see, you have three columns here and only two here on iOS and there's a lot more wasted space going on on Android and in sometimes as you can even see there is only one post visible where there are in most cases free on a tablet at least so there are definitely way more differences on the Google Plus app and as you can see the performance doesn't doesn't bother here because this is a dash, just a slower device but as you can see the differences are there and if you want to write a post you have this overflow button on Android, which opens a small portion. And here it is on Android. So that's pretty much the differences on Google+. Now let's check Hangout for a second. As you can already see on iOS, you have this split view all the time where you can jump between all your Hangouts, which you don't have on Android anymore. You have to go in and out all the time. It's a bit of a bummer because as you can see, this is just a stretched out phone app and they did waste a lot of space. Otherwise, what you all also have on Android, if you slide this out, you see favorite voice, video, mute, and archive. You don't get this on the Android side. All you can do is long press, and then you get the mute, archive, and delete button. That's pretty much it. So I definitely have to give the win here to the iOS app, which just has more conven convenience and more functionality in my opinion. But both do the job, so that's it for Hangouts. The next app would be Google Drive, and you can already see both are released. You let's change to thumbnail view. And as you can see here, there was no animation on Android. It's just a switch where you have quite nice animation on Android, on iOS. It's not really a big difference, but still. Otherwise, the slide out menu is pretty much the same in terms of functionality, it just looks a little bit different. Settings are available here and here. They also look a bit different, but that's it. Otherwise, if we go into it, check the information button, you get this and you get pretty much the same. So you have your details and you have everything. Everything looks pretty much the same. Also, not a really big difference. The only thing there is a difference if you want to make a new one, you switch this button and you have that. If you do the same on iOS, it looks like this. But otherwise, in terms of behavior, also already pretty much the same. So the next one would be Google Docs. And also we see here, list view on both. If we switch, thumb view, thumb view again with animations. Otherwise, the same. Slide out menu on both. It looks a little bit different again. Settings and so on are also the same. We have this button here, the overflow button, and we have the same here on Android. Also, not a big difference, pretty much behaving the same. 
also quite close to each other because you can see both are already using material design. Let's switch to Gmail and as you can see both already have a quite nice tablet layout. You see the whole thread going on here if you switch it. Same goes for Android uh, for iOS. Well there's a quite a difference here. Here we have these letters where you can see that if you know the person or so on or the contact you don't get this on iOS. That's a bit of a bummer but otherwise also if you check the settings button here you have these options and they look like this on iOS, a little bit different, but also pretty much the same. If we can check it here, also that is also very close, but of course you have some iOS UI elements here which you don't have on Android, of course. That's pretty much it though. Let's end this video with YouTube where there is the biggest difference here in my opinion because as you can see on iOS you have this nice tablet layout where this menu is available all the time and if you want to check the settings you can do this without having to leave this screen. This is quite nice. On Android you have to leave it because you have to go into the settings. That's pretty much it. But the one good thing here is you have this available all the time where we have to slide it out on Android because you see so much wasted space going on here. But if we go into it you will also see a big difference here because we are now in my subscriptions and if I want to refresh it all I have to do on Android on iOS is pull down to refresh. You don't get this option on Android and I don't see why because what I always have to do is go into another one then go into subscriptions and then it will refresh. This is a bit of a letdown but what can you do? Otherwise this looks pretty much then let me quickly stop the video. Okay so how does YouTube differ here as you can see we have the title here we have the plus and minus directly visible which we don't have on iOS because you have to scroll a little bit to see that that's a bit of a bummer it should be definitely be up at the top so you directly see how many likes and dislikes a video got otherwise the settings are also pretty much the same here no difference one difference there is you can't make this bigger like this this is something I would like to see because here you just do a pinch to zoom or not to make your video bigger or smaller. You don't have to hit this button. This is quite nice because you have to hit it on Android. I would prefer if I could do this as well because it's just a nice gesture. Otherwise, if you check it, here we have the comments. Look also pretty much the same. So as you maybe did see now to finish off the video. The differences aren't that big. Of course there are a few elements that are just modified to, to match the system. So on Android you saw it and you saw it on iOS. So if you say Google Plus apps work so much better on Android, it's up for you to decide now because I made this video so you can see if there is a big difference or not. And if you could maybe think of switching if you want to or not. And please let me know your opinions because I would really like to know what you think of that.